you have a massive bridge that links uh, Crimea to Russia. And a, uh, a truck, there was a truck bomb which uh, destroyed a part of the bridge. And I'm sure that just like the Nord Stream pipelines, the Russians did this to themselves as well, right? B brilliant strategy. Go blow up your own things. So he here's the bridge, okay? And I'll just read to you from the New York Times just some background information, okay? So explosion on 12-mile Crimea bridge kills three. And by the way, just in terms of geography, we're talking uh, right here, okay? That's the bridge. The blast and fire sent part of the 12-mile uh, Kerch Strait bridge tumbling into the sea and killed at least three people, according to Russian authorities who said a Ukrainian truck bomb had caused the blast. I, I like how they present this because, you know, they're, they're basically trying to tell you that it's the Russians saying that. The Russian authorities say that. Well, guess what? The Ukrainians are basically not only admitting that they uh, uh, carried out this attack, but they're gloating. I'm, I'm not even joking. They're actually gloating. And here's the video, just so you can get an idea of what this looked like. So there's essentially a truck uh, driving over the bridge, and you have to keep in mind that there was a train carrying uh, fuel. So the initial explosion from the uh, truck ignited um, the the rail cars, and that yeah, that that's what it looked like. So again, here's a, here's a, a video of the flames. And there's a section of the, the bridge that completely collapsed. So, in other words, it's a terrorist attack. Again, you know, when you, you blow up a pipeline, like Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2, um, you know, you, you purposely sabotage international infrastructure. Um, you come and you blow up a civilian bridge uh, with a truck bomb and you kill three civilians. This is a terrorist attack. If someone else had done this, you would look at that and say, that's ISIS. You would look at that and say, that's ISIS. This is the stuff they do. They drive truck bombs and, you know, blow, blow up uh, hospitals, blow up roads, pipelines, whatever, and kill civilians. That's what they do. Here's, here's a satellite photo. Um, of the bridge, so you can see the damage before and after from 7th to 8th of October. Um, now, this section has been repaired since then, actually. I'll get back to that in a second, but let's continue with the New York Times article. So, um, one senior Ukrainian official speaking on condition of anonymity because of a ban on officials discussing the matter said that Ukraine's intelligence services, so the SBU, had orchestrated the attack and that it involved a bomb loaded onto a truck that drove across the bridge. Well, hold on a second. You just wrote in the last sentence that Russian authorities are claiming a Ukrainian truck bomb blew up the bridge. And then in the next sentence, you say the Ukrainian authorities are also saying that. How can it, how can it be just the Russians then? doesn't make any sense. So they say it was unclear if the driver of the truck, who appeared to have died in the blast, was aware there were explosives inside. Once again, this is ISIS stuff. So they, they basically blew some poor guy up in order to destroy this bridge. ISIS. That is the MO. They, they, you know, blow themselves up or they blow other people up, unsuspecting drivers, unsuspecting civilians. They suicide them in order to, you know, achieve military objectives or political objectives. This is what ISIS have done uh, uh, time and time again. This is what Al-Qaeda have done. And the fact that NATO helped to give rise to al-Qaeda and ISIS, and now you're seeing the same behavior in Ukraine where NATO also, you know, has its hand in the cookie jar. How unsurprising, and yet, you know, uh, uh, just as tragic. They're terrorists. They are the terrorists. Uh, they bring misery, they bring destruction, and they uh, always justify, you know, their, their acts of terrorism as resistance, and anybody who actually defends themselves from NATO is a terrorist. You know, this is really... I, I, I'm, I'm stunned by the media uh, 
and their complicity in, in whitewashing NATO's image from the last decades, you know, like it's now it's a defensive alliance, apparently, you know, um, blowing up bridges, blowing up pipelines. This is defensive. Destroying Syria, that was defensive. You know, destroying Libya is defensive. Apparently, these were threats to NATO. They are such bullies. They're such ag aggressive assholes. All they care about is control and money and resources, and they will do whatever it takes. Uh, uh, they will sacrifice everybody. And they're, they're even doing it. They're eat the snake is eating itself right now, you know. Uh, Europe, these these European governments, they can't see. I don't know if they 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 don't want to or they just don't understand that they're being sacrificed to preserve uh, the dollar to to you know um, sell U.S. gas. What well, what is wrong with these people? They they certainly don't serve their own uh, citizens. Then no way, no way. They say for for uh, Vladimir Putin. President of Russia, who presided over the bridge's opening in 2018, the explosion was a highly personal affront um, because he, he actually, cut, you know, basically the ribbon cutting process, uh, uh, he was personally there for it. That, that's, that's what they're saying. It's not just about, you know, having symbolic value for, for Putin. It's symbolic for Russia because they want to have this connection, this actual bridge with Crimea, and also that th this is a vital supply line, right? So, you know, of course, the the Western press are going to make this out to be like the as if the, the Kremlin was just set ablaze or something. Uh, I mean, it's certainly a terrorist attack. It's certainly significant. That that is actually the focal point. The bridge was repaired overnight immediately, and here are the videos. You can see um, that both cars and trains are already back um, as usual. So it, it's interesting, right? It's it's interesting. Here, Margaret posted this. This this the first train coming back on. Now let me show you the, the, the reaction from Ukraine because you're not gonna believe your eyes. You guys you guys are not gonna believe what I'm about to show you. Here's the reaction from the Ukrainians, okay? The post office in Ukraine has made stamps glorifying the attack on the bridge. I, I'm not even kidding. This is, this is real. Ukraine's postal service, in a couple of hours, just a matter of hours, made several stamps. Here are some other comments. Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, uh, said that Saturday was a good and mostly sunny day in Ukrainian territory. Quote, unfortunately, it was cloudy in Crimea. Obviously, he's referring to the plumes of smoke from the, the, the explosion. The SBU, so this is Ukraine's domestic intelligence service, issued a statement rephrasing a stanza of a poem by Ukraine's national poet, Shevchenko. Quote, Dawn, the bridge is burning beautifully, the agency posted on Twitter. A nightingale in Crimea meets the SBU. They really, I mean, they're, they're not hiding it at all. They're, imagine the CIA just... Um, Posting on Twitter about their their latest act of sabotage. I mean, they they have the press do that for them usually, but you know it's quite it's quite shameless. An advisor to to Zelensky Podolyak, he said that Crimea, the bridge, the beginning, um, and everything illegal must be destroyed. Everything stolen returned to Ukraine. All Russian occupiers expelled. So again, you you have multiple. Uh, senior officials in the government just like openly celebrating it and the, the postal service making a stamp i mean are you going to come here and tell me this was russia again you know apparently yes look at this headline <laughs> from bild so that's germany's equivalent of the sun they say waren es die russen selbst was it the russians themselves who blew up the bridge Apparently, this is the new Russian tactic, right? Blow up your own pipelines. Actually, both of them, not just one, both fucking pipelines. Go blow up your own bridge. You know, just sabotage your own war effort, right? This is like 15-dimensional uh, space-time chess. Really smart, yeah? I'm sure Ukraine has nothing to do with that. The Americans have nothing to do with that, right? Why, why would they do that? They, they've only come out and celebrated it. Can I interest you in some stamps? Here's the Twitter post that I was telling you about. So, again, many, many people like that posting memes and so on. And, you know, I, I, uh, I find it interesting. I, I, I find it really interesting because, you know, the next time they call Palestinians terrorists because they threw a, a rock or fired a rocket um, at Israeli occupiers, 
Uh, I will remember this. Okay. So apparently in 2022, truck bombs are in. Nuclear war is in. Uh, and as long as you do that against NATO's enemies, it's not terrorism. It's, it's legitimate resistance. Right. But Iraqis doing that is terrorism. Syrians doing that, terrorism. Palestinians doing that, double anti-Semitic terrorism. <laughs> I'm loving these double standards, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying the expose of the uh, festering, disgusting, corrupted Western press and governments. They are the, the worst hypocrites on this planet in history. There is no comparison. There is no comparison. You know, if someone did that in Europe, they would be whining about it for decades, right? Uh, if someone did that in their own country to fight Europeans or American soldiers, they would whine about that for decades. But it's okay to do that to the Russians and actually blame the Russians for it too. Here, I'll show you. This is uh, um, from uh, Alfred de Zaya. So he used to be the UN uh, expert on uh, equitable and international order. Uh, so he said that the terrorist attack on a civilian infrastructure necessary for the population living in Crimea constitutes a war crime and the ICC should start an investigation with a view to indict the culprits under Article 7 and 8 of the Statute of Rome. So, you know, you, you have people saying that it's not only a terrorist attack, it's also, also a war crime because, of course, you know, if anything that is used by the public and um, by civilians, whether it's waterworks, uh, power station, um, you know, a hospital, a road, um, and, of course, a bridge... That constitutes a war crime. So even if you want to say that, okay, well, this is a legitimate military target because the Russians are using the bridge uh, not only for civilians, but they're using it for, you know, the transfer of armaments. They're, they're using it for the war effort, and therefore it's a legitimate target. Okay, fine. So next time, as I said, when the Palestinians, you know, they, they, they uh, resist they, they uh, assume their right under international law to resist the Israelis. You won't complain? Did I understand this correctly? And same for everybody else. When they're fighting American troops on their soil, you won't mind that. You're okay. Okay. <laughs>